morning good morning good morning this morning again it's a raining morning i hope it rains in your area it's it's actually rained here in ashe movie also in lagos state it rains as well we just pray that uh, the almighty god will make the shower a shower of blessings for all of us and make our country uh, a peaceful one better one for all of us to stay in good morning once again welcome to the program uh breakfast delight on king media where we are located at kilometer 36 lagos ibano expressway precisely inside our nasa islamic center Asheshe. that is where we are operating from and like you know breakfast delight is a program is every day study program that will bring on air for you to you know when you are at work or you're doing one business or the other something to push you to make you move on to to make you go on smoothly such that the what you have planned to achieve that day you'll be able to achieve it that is why we are here because it is our responsibility to inform you to entertain you and to educate you so this is one of the ways of making you enjoy what you do you know it's good, very good to be passionate about what you do love what you do you just be happy doing it so that is why breakfast delight is here from king media uh we have about three segments on this uh program we have uh the moral and virtue segment we have health segments and uh, we have new segments and we have uh new issues in the daily segment also we have issues in the policy where we discuss uh topical current issues at length so that people will understand what the whole thing is all about now we are on the segment of issues in the dailies and what we do here basically is to bring to your notice some of the headlines that are on the newspapers uh daily so that you can get yourself acquainted with what is happening around you you want to read more about it we just give you the headlines you go ahead and read more about it anyone you find interesting and also we continue the conversation online we have your you can always put your comments what your view your opinion about each of these headlines my name is Fauzi Asalakosani welcoming you to this new episode of the program today uh the 25th day of june 2024 so on the lighter one let's move to entertainment a bit we want to use this opportunity also to congratulate the video and chioma in sweetheart for their wedding today we pray that the god almighty will bless the union more and also to say happy birthday honorable femi Benjabi Amila. uh today is his birthday also the chief of staff to the president of uh, federal republic of nigeria happy birthday sir from all of us as king media we say happy birthday to you and everyone celebrating today uh the 25th of june 2024 now let's move to the pro uh, to the program proper what are the headlines that we have this morning that we find that in there, there's something that we can just read more about this one says this morning minimum wage approved 250,000 naira demand to match inflationary trend labor tells to numbu you know for some time now there have been that uh, argument about our minimum wage for workers now labor is telling president Tinubu this morning that minimum wage they should approve 250,000 naira demand due to the inflation that we have in the country we hope one of these days that gets settled all right moving on now Hmm. As at yesterday, the Naira was 1,400 and something. Today, this morning, Naira is down to 1,500 Naira per dollar in parallel markets. What are we going to do about it? God will help us. Then moving on, this one says, uh, for, on security, Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria FAN deploys armed special force to five airports. You know, yesterday one of the stories we, we picked was that there are people exploiting people at the airport. I guess this is coming against that story so that we have uh, special forces around the airports who will go into investigation and try to get those who are actually exploiting people at the airport. Okay, this one says NCDC declares cholera crisis set up emergency measures we, we we will have known that in lagos state uh we've heard a lot about cholera you know being spread everywhere in the state not everywhere but at least almost some areas especially in the island so ndc has declared it now as a crisis in other words everyone needs to be very very careful with what you eat your your hygiene is very very important as we speak your environment keep it clean you have to have that good environmental sanitation 
around you in your home in your community do ju don't just don't eat any out outside make sure whatever you want to eat either it has been cooked or not when you get home wash those fruits very well before you eat it and when you want to eat don't buy food at those i'm sorry it's not as if you're market for those who are selling at the roadside but as we speak now due to what we have the cholera it is very important that people take care of what they eat and what they drink so that we we'll avoid spreading the illness so ncdc declares cholera crisis set up emergency measures okay still on cholera avoid unregistered beverages lagos government caution citizens you see the Gossip government is cautioning all of us now. When you want to buy something, make sure that you buy food or beverages, things that you want to eat, they should be bought from registered uh, companies. So that if anything happens after taking that, at least they can be taken responsible uh, for whatever effect that comes after what you have consumed. So that is coming from Lagos State Government. This one says, Governor Abiodun unveils five points agenda for Southern Governors Forum. You know, last night we, the story came up that the governor of Ogun State, Governor Dako Abiodun, was actually appointed as the chairman of the Southern Governors Forum. So he, he, the governor has said, the governor has said it in his speech that in due course, uh, he and this vice uh, chairman will come to the media and tell us the five point agenda what and what are they going to focus on what are they going to do as it's going to uh, affect the, the citizens uh the economy the political terrain and everything that has to do with our uh, entity nigeria so let's wait and uh, for the uh, agenda as the chairman of the southern governors forum will have to present to work on for that time that will be there as the chairman of the forum all right moving on now this one says Shop right to close Abuja branch June 30th. Cities ash environment. We all know shop right. The one in Abuja, what is headline saying is that by the 30th of this month, the Abuja branch of shop right will be closed down due to this inflation and economic hardship that is going around now. That is what is the essence. That is the essence of taking that step to close down the Abuja branch of ShopRite by the, by June 30th of this month. That's interesting. Okay, this one's still on NCDC. Dehydration, major killer of cholera patients, says NCDC boss. You know, when you, when you are uh, if you're affected with that illness, you lose many of water you know you have to there will be stooling vomiting so in the process water in the body is being lost so that is the essence why majority of these patients dies early because they have lost so much water that is coming out as a waste product coming out of the, from their body so we need to drink a lot of water but mind you when you drink water be very careful you know the kind of water you want to drink if you want to drink water in your house, boil the water very well before you drink it. You want to buy water outside, maybe you are thirsty. Make sure you are buying a sealed bottle of water. Even the sealed one, go, ah, are you sure that it's even because help us? So, but that's what NCDC is telling us this morning. They're going to education jam VCs to decide admission cutoff mark July 18. That's for education. Moving on now. Okay, let's round it up with this a sports story, which says NFF targets Ave Renard as next Super Eagles coach. Okay, you know it was Philly George that was there briefly. He left, so now uh, looking where to pick another coach for the Super Eagles. NFF is targeting Ave Renard as the next Super Eagles coach. Okay, Toby Amusho leads Nigeria to women's four by hundred meters gold that's going for another competition and transfer still on football napoli to slash osimes asking price who what happened don't slash it though why do you want to slash his money now <laughs> this is transfer napoli to slash osimes asking price and finally we are ready for calf championships league we are ready for calf championship league who is saying this this morning enugu rangers all right that's much we can take on the segment of 
issues in the dailies of breakfast the lights on king media this morning please don't forget to join us follow us on all our social media handles our facebook instagram x which was formerly twitter and on youtube page please subscribe to our youtube page our channel we really like to have you do that for us so these and many of these headlines you can pick any of the dailies today and read more about this the program continues shortly well, after this musical break my name is Rosia Salakoswane a very big thanks to our producer and our editor our Muhyiddin Yunus see you in the next segment of this program breakfast delight thank you so much for watching and please share our videos subscribe and follow all us on all our social media handles do have a beautiful money and I can always say whatever you are doing do it well. Whatever it is worth doing, is worth doing well. Let's do it so that we can be rest assured that what we have put in, we definitely bring out or yield a productive result. See you on the next segment on the program Breakfast Delight.